Hi friends, welcome to the second part of our Processing Analog Meter tutorial. Now we need to add the codes for reading serial values from Arduino. I have already explained about how to read serial values from Arduino in processing. If you have not watched that video, I will give it in the description. Please watch that. Now we have stored the values from Arduino to the variable in byte. We need an another variable called reading in which we will be mapping the value from in byte and storing to it. For time being let's uh, just store the in byte value to the reading. Now let's uh, write the Arduino code. Our port is in the fourth one in the list, so make it correct. Serial load begin 9600 voltage. In Arduino, we are just reading a potentiometer value and we are storing it to a variable called port. Okay, so our Arduino code is now working. Now we need to find at which value our needle will reach at full. Okay, so it's 14.97 and it was before 19.69. So let's uh, separate 14.9 cents from 19.69 that is 4.72 so now we need to map our in byte value from 0 to 1023 to 0 to 4.72 Mm, our values are not coming properly yeah it is because we have written serial dot printl and we need to write serial dot write so float won't work there we need to put int but still it's not working properly let's add some delay or Arduino code. Okay, now it's working. Oops, uh, but it's resetting to zero after 255. So let's map our value in Arduino itself. Map the potentiometer value from zero to 1023 to 0 to 255. In processing, we need to change 1023 to 255. Okay, now it's perfectly working. So that's it, guys. 
hope you like the video please don't forget to subscribe and also please suggest me how can i improve my videos